in the midst of the fallout from their cut price Hendu. And with just one week left until the wedding, the boys are facing up to the consequences of their over enthusiastic spending. And their biggest headache? Alice's army of 15 bridesmaids. Armed with just £300, the boys head into the unknown waters of bridesmaid dress shopping. We are in a position where we haven't got the money, we haven't got the time, so we really need to just pull whatever we, we can out of the bag to, to actually sort it. We need to leave here with, with some at least some dresses. <laughs> mate, I'm not looking forward to shopping for dresses at all, mate. How would a woman think about this situation? Well, for starters, a woman probably wouldn't pick the first thing she sees. I think that's all right. <laughs> I do as well. Sadly, there isn't a woman here. I like it. Yeah. I feel like we've got an easy card here and I feel like we should play it. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly, the boys have picked up all 15 dresses at a bargain price of just £11 each. That's less than £175 in total. It seems their luck is well and truly in the pink. Uh, the bridesmaids are on the way around now. So I'm going to take off the price tag because I know if they've seen that, they'll hate the dresses. Jade is leading an advanced party of five of Ellis's bridesmaids to collect the dresses. And they don't have particularly high hopes. We're all a bit scared and apprehensive, aren't we, Tamara? Well, if we look like twats, there's 15 of us all looking like twats yeah. together. Well, they are eight together, won't we, think? The dragons are here. Hello! Smells like a dirty man pit. Ooh. Look at it. When are we getting these dresses? Yeah. It's the moment of truth. Has Luke pulled it out of the bag? Oh, oh, they're quite nice. Yeah. 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 Get out of town. Have I actually got another yeah. dress? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Vic. Yeah. That's not yeah. bad. I actually can't believe it, to be honest. Just wait till they see how much they were. <laughs> when you find out, girls, it'll already be too late. <laughs> Actually, all right, aren't they? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ignorance is bliss. The girls are leaving happy, but not as happy as Luke is for getting away with his bargain basement dresses. Time to report in to his best man. I ripped all tags off, mate, so they don't know how much they cost, and they all love them. <laughs> they all love them. Yes, <laughs> it's the day before the wedding, and Ellis is finally going to see her dress. She's brought along bridesmaid Jade, her mum and her aunties, and tensions are running high. This morning, I feel really sick. I woke up on my sick yeah. Not if it's wrong. Oh, God, please. Hello. Let's have a look what it shows for you. Oh, God, oh, I need to sit down. Sick. I need to sit down. <laughs> Grab a seat, girls. That's it. Right. So scared. Let's have a look. Oh, God. Feel sick. I'm shitting of a sophisticated lace gown with long sleeves to match her dream traditional church wedding. But Luke has picked a sleeveless fishtail number. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I'm crying now, so I've got to it. <laughs> it's just the right big thing for him to have done. Bless him. There's a possibility that she will say she likes it just because Luke's bought it and she so desperately wants to see him and so desperately wants to please him. I'm worried that she she won't be honest about it, so I think we've got to be honest about it. Yeah. Here goes. Will the dress wow the witches of works up? Oh, Ellis. Yeah, he knows you, babe. It's yeah. gorgeous. Good old Luke. Oh, I'm excited oh, for tomorrow night! <laughs> yeah. Got absolutely got the biggest tick in that box. Yeah, it. Got, yeah. yeah. I love it. 
I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm proud of him. Yeah. yeah. Very proud, very proud. Oh. We have got something to celebrate, I think, now. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Cheers, Ellis. Cheers, Cheers well. to Luke and the dress. Yeah, here's mm. to Luke and the dress. What about a veil? Are you allowed a veil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh veil! Go and get him, I'm excited. You see, I wouldn't have thought Luke had thought about a veil. Oh, I hope it matches. Sure. No way! No, no way! Oh, that's that fucking looks, horrible. That, he's done so, so well with wedding dress and then he's just gone and done a great big shit on it. That, that is awful. Penis. It's John, awful. Do you you having us on? I'm not. The money he's spent on that dress is wasted. is wasted now cos it looks a twat. Don't hold back, Dee. Say what you really think. She's going upset. Oh, don't, don't, don't get upset. You're all being horrible. We're not being horrible, you are. we're being honest. You're being horrible, you've made me feel like you're shit. You go and have a look and tell me you think that looks nice. Yeah, it might not look nice, but there's obviously a point to it, do you know what I mean? It's fun. Well, I don't see you laughing. But he has dropped a big bollock with that veil. Why bother with the gown, the traditional beautiful gown, why bother to stick that on your fucking head? So Dee's clearly livid, but Ellis is adamant she'll go with Luke's plan and wear the veil. Over in Sheffield, our groom is oblivious to the unfolding drama. Although it's a wonder he didn't spot the air turning blue for miles around. Still, the wedding's coming together. Let's just hope it makes up for the pink. It's been stressful. It's been stressful these last few weeks. And it's been... It's, it's all been talk, really, and then now we actually can do stuff. It's what we've all been waiting for. As Luke and his team of helpers get busy preparing the venue, back in Worksop, there's a new set of stresses to deal with. It smells of disaster. The whole thing. Ellis has been told what time she'll be picked up tomorrow, but no one else in the bridal party knows what's going on. I'm not stressed. I've got 15 bridesmaids to organise. And the fact that they need to know, you know, my guests need to know where the location is and um, a bit more specifics on times. And I think in his mind, as long as I'm there on time and I'm sorted, he's not really bothered. The not knowing on the eve of the wedding is all getting a bit much. And Mum D has decided to take matters into her own hands and call the man himself. I need to know... Am I part of the bridal party or have I got to make my own way there? I've only arranged travel. You are joking. You were supposed to sort a fucking bus or taxis or summit. Money's gone. Money's gone on the wedding day. Shit, burger! The, the, the train station down house. Burger, they can't go on frigging train. Burger, this is shit. This is absolute shit. I, I, I don't know. They, I... It's not good enough. God almighty, I just hope you've pulled this off, Bergs, because I'm going to need enough time if you haven't. Sorry. It don't bode well for tomorrow.